Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Thunderbird Daily. I have a brand new version of my add-on Zombie Keys which I'm releasing in June 2016. This release is along with new versions of Quick Folders and Quick Filters. For the new features of Quick Filters 3.2 please look at my previous video on Thunderbird Daily. Apart from extending my add-ons, I'm also busy with recording on my music channel and I'm currently saving up for a better computer so I can work and record more efficiently. Zombie Keys 2.17 what is Zombie Keys? I also named this add-on Multilanguage Keyboard. With this you can enter keys from foreign languages that are not normally present on an English keyboard. Over the years I also extended this to cater for other European keyboard layouts as well, such as German, French, Italian or Russian. For a full list of all the supported layouts, please check out the link in the description. The concept. Zombie Keys is using the so-called Dead Keys concept. These are keys or key combinations that do not do anything by themselves, but they can modify the result of the next keystroke to create a diacritic. The idea being that zombie keys awakes these dead keys to life. A diacritic is a glyph that modifies a Latin letter. Let's look at a quick example. In order to generate umlauts on an English UK keyboard, we only need to remember the dead key combination control plus shift plus colon which is basically two vertical dots symbolizing the two horizontal dots on top of the umlaut. After this, Zombie Keys is listening for an A, U or O keystroke in order to create the corresponding umlaut. So pressing A we get the German A eh. and with Shift A obviously the uppercase A. Eh. This works in all edit boxes in Thunderbird and also Composer of course. It also supports Postbox, CMonkey and Firefox. I've tried to design the shortcuts in a way that they are both useful on their particular local keyboard and easy to remember. In order to work, the used fonts need to be Unicode compliant. Unicode is basically an extension of the ASCII alphabet and allows for a big number of special characters. Zombie Keys supports the following diacritics. Diaresis for umlauts. Grave. Acute. Ring over, circumflex, caron, wedge or hajek, which is basically an inverted circumflex, tilde, double acute, breve, underdot, you can also use this for subscript numbers, overdot, you can also use this for superscript numbers. Macron, that's a horizontal line. Sedilla, that is a hook underneath. Ogonek, this is the little tail underneath the lower right, which is often used in Polish. Slash through. Greek letters. Circuit letters. This last one may not work with some Unicode fonts, such as consolas. To configure zombie keys, use the zombie button on the toolbar and select configuration. Then select a keyboard layout that is close to what you are currently using. Then you should be able to use all keyboard shortcuts right away. While learning the zombie keys, you can use the toolbar button instead and press the menu item instead of the key combination. Then press the letter key. Of course, the key combo followed by the letter will be faster. If you want a complete list of supported characters, you can see this in the JavaScript console. Configure the add-on to display mapping after combo is pressed, then open the console using Ctrl, Shift and J. Use the zombie key anywhere in Thunderbird and you will see a list of suggestions and outcomes. Bug fixes. So one of the problems with special character combinations is that they are often used as hotkeys for other purposes. One of them is the Thunderbird Composer shortcut for changing font sizes, which is pretty greedy as it takes up a lot of combinations based on the angle bracket keys. I managed to write a fix that works for the English keyboards and can potentially be applied to other similar problems, but I will need the help from users with these specific keyboards in order to fix it for everybody. If you find that the zombie keys combination gives you unintended side effects, you can hit me up using the email on the Zombie Keys support site. As always, you can read a detailed release log on the version history page, which I also linked in the box below. It is also automatically displayed when you upgrade Zombie Keys to the latest version.
As mentioned, I'm currently saving up for a new PC, so if you would like to donate some money for the Thunderbird Daily Channel and my development work, you can contribute on the various support pages linked in my add-ons. Any contributions would be highly welcome. Thanks for watching and have a great summer.